All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up crates, build overviews, and set the BPM of your tracks in Scratch Live. Uh, these questions get asked pretty much on a daily basis on the Scratch Live forum, so I'm making this video so I don't have to sit there and type this all out every day. So over here on the left is the crate area in Scratch Live. Now to make a new crate, you can do a couple things. Press this plus button down here at the bottom, or rather click it, and it will make a new crate entitled Crate 1. Crate 2, Crate 3, etc. Now if you want to rename a crate, you just need to simply double click it with your mouse and it will highlight and then you can type whatever you want uh, as the name. Now to make a sub crate in Scratch Live, you need to click and highlight a crate and drag it on top of another crate and that will make it a sub crate. And you can make sub sub crates also if you want, just drag it on top of the sub crate and it will make it a sub sub crate. And you can pretty much do that infinitely as many times as you want. Now to delete a crate, you hold the control key down and press the delete key, and that will delete crates. You can also go into the import browser here and to the right, click that, and this will bring up a uh, explorer tree of your hard drive. And then you simply just navigate to the folder on your hard drive where the tracks are stored. Now if you click and highlight the folder, you just need to simply drag it over into a blank area in the crate area and that will make a new crate titled the same name as the folder. You can also just drag it down here to the plus button also, and that will also add a crate that way. So now that we have some crates and some songs in Scratch Live, we need to build overviews on them. So what is building overviews? Well, building overviews is the way Scratch Live analyzes and scans your files. Um, it checks the tracks for any corruption that they might have, because you do not want to be playing corrupt files in Scratch Live as they could potentially crash the program, which you obviously don't want to do. Uh, building overviews also, as the name implies, builds the waveform overview of the file, which you'll see up here in the player when you load a song. Um, this is so it doesn't have to build the overview on the fly when you load the song. Uh, it is strongly recommended that you build overviews on all your files before you play them live. Uh, it's not required, but it is strongly recommended. So how about setting the BPM of these tracks? Well, you need to set this, you need to click this box right here, Set Auto BPM, before you begin building overviews. So click that box, and then you'll see this range box that pops up next to it. If you click that little arrow right there, you'll see a little drop-down box with selectable ranges. Now, depending on the type of music you play, you'll want to select a preset range. If you play any type of rap, hip-hop, R&B, top 40 music, typically that's in the 70 to 120 BPM range, so I'd recommend uh, the 68 to 135 range. But if you play any type of electronic dance music, like house, techno, trance, drum and bass, um, typically that's much higher BPM. Usually for house, techno, and trance, that's anywhere from 120 to 140 or 150 BPM. And drum and bass is 160 to 180, so... If you play electronic dance music, I'd recommend probably the 98 to 195 range, which I'm going to select because that's what I play is uh, house and techno music, which is these files right here. So now that we have the set auto BPM box checked and we have selected a range, we can begin building overviews. Uh, to do that, you just need to press this build overview overviews button right here. So just click that and it will begin building overviews on your files. Now, as you can see, um, I'm building two overviews at one time. If you have a dual-core processor in your computer, it'll build two overviews at a time. Uh, if you have a single core, it'll only do one at a time. And if you have a quad-core, uh, it'll build four at a time. So that's really uh, nice, and it flies through that with a quad-core. But I only have a dual-core, so I'll build two at a time. Now, this build overviews is broken up into three sections. The leftmost uh, box is reading the file. The middle box is uh, actually building the overview. Uh, this takes the longest. And the third box on the right is writing to the file. And that's also quick also. Uh, on average, if about a 7-minute house or techno song will usually take anywhere from 20 to 30 seconds to build an overview on a file. Uh, so you can do the math to figure out how long it's going to take to build overviews on all your hundreds or thousands of files. It is a long process, but you got to do it. So, now that we're building overviews right now, as I said, we should be seeing the BPM pop up here in 
BP crate. But as you can see, we do not have a BPM column anywhere, and we don't see any BPMs. So you, you need to go over here into the upper right of the track list area, and you'll see this little triangle. Click that, and that will bring up a list of all the available columns you can choose or not choose to show in your crates. And here is BPM right here, so let's click that. And there you go, you should see the BPM column now, and all the BPM of my files are being filled in. And that's about it for building overviews and setting the BPM. Pretty simple, eh? So let's take a look now over here in the crate area itself. Let's go into this crate. Now, as I mentioned, you can click this little triangle right here and add all the columns you want or don't want shown in the crate. Um, I don't need album. And this is basically how I like my crates right here. Song, artist, length, comment, BPM. But I want to move some of these around. I want, you can move columns around if you click the column header, and that's these top parts right here that say song, artist, length, column, BPM. Those are the column headers. If you click your mouse button and hold it, you can drag it left or right to move it to move its location. So you can move and rearrange the columns to your liking that way. You can also click any of the column headers and it will uh, sort your tracks by that field. So if I click the song column, it will organize all my songs alphabetically from A to Z, or if you double click it, it will sort it, reverse sort it from Z to A. And likewise, you can do that with any of the other columns. So artists, it will sort alphabetically A to Z. If you click BPM, it will sort lowest to highest BPM, or click it again to reverse sort it from highest to lowest. And same thing with the comments or length or any of the columns you can pretty much sort by if you just click the column header. Now this number column over here is if you want to move your tracks up or down in the list, if you want to organize your tracks in a specific order. So you must click the number column first, and as you'll see that will order the column number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, etc. Uh, then you can click a track and move it up or down in the list, like so. However, if you're organized already by a different column, so if I sort by artist, you can't click a track and drag it up or down in the list because that would break the it wouldn't be in alphabetical order then anymore so if you want to order your tracks you have to click the column the number column first and you can drag tracks up or down so that is basically it for crates and tracks so now let's say we add more tracks to our crate let's say I got another folder and I just drag you can just drag that folder down into the crate area and that will add all the songs in that folder to the new crate. And as you can see, there's no BPM or length for these uh, files yet because they have not had their overviews built or uh, they've been they haven't been loaded to a track. So to build overviews on these files, you can just click the Build Overviews button again. But what I recommend is manually dragging new tracks onto the Overview button because sometimes for unknown reasons if you click the button again it'll try to redo all your files that you've already did and you don't want to do that obviously because that'll take even longer so what I recommend is dragging just the new tracks only onto the build overviews button if you hold your control key down you can click multiple files and that will highlight multiple files in the list or if you have uh, a lot of tracks and you don't want to sit there and click each one if you click the first one that doesn't have a BPM, then you hold your shift key and go down to the last file that doesn't have a BPM, and you click that while holding shift, it will highlight all the files in between your first and last click. And then you can just simply grab the group and drag it onto the build overviews button, and it will only build overviews on those five files that I have highlighted, like so. So that's what I recommend when you put new tracks in your crate is to drag them manually onto the Build Overviews button instead of just clicking the button again. And that is about it for building crates and overviews and setting BPMs. So I hope you found this useful and enjoy.